Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to The Discriminating Gamer, the board game review show that has never been married. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to go ahead and take a look at Hit Z Road from Asmodee. In Hit Z Road from Asmodee and Space Cowboys, two to four players are going to attempt to cross the great nation of America after it just happened to have a zombie apocalypse. Now, this game is designed by prolific board game designer Martin Wallace. And I know what you're thinking. When you think Martin Wallace, you don't think dice checkers, you don't think zombie games. And, of course, this is a dom zombie game dice chucker that's very unusual. So let me go ahead and tell you about it. Now you've got three kinds of resources in this game. You got, there are different kinds of bottle caps. You've got gas, you've got ammo, and you've got adrenaline. And you each get a, a certain amount of those at the beginning. You also get a survivor who represents you, and then I think about four other uh, survivors that are kind of following you. They're tagging along. They're in your party. And your job is to try to get as many of them across the country as you can, or at least just you. And there are three different stacks of cards. There's kind of low difficulty, medium difficulty, and high difficulty, and you kind of shuffle them and place them on top of each other so you form one deck. Now, at the beginning of the game, the you determine a first player. After that, it's player who has initiative. But what you're going to do is that first player is going to draw uh, four sets of two cards. So you're kind of laying down you know, two cards here, two cards here, two cards here, and two cards here. And that's going to form a path. Those two cards are going to form a path, essentially one of the ways that one of the groups of survivors uh, can take. Well, you want to go where you want to go, so essentially you bid. You have an auction mechanic where you say how many of the bottle caps you're willing to spend. Uh, you can spend any of them in any combinations to essentially get to choose first where you want to go. But if for each space you, you want to move, you have to spend a bottle cap. Anybody can go around, and once people pass, they're out, but you can kind of keep going around, kind of bidding and bidding and bidding. And if you bid, of course, you spent all the bottle caps, or you spent a good number of your bottle caps. Then the player who actually bids gets to choose which path they want. Now these path cards are very interesting. Some of them are going to just have text on them which have a certain event occur. Some of them are also going to have different bottle caps on them. You just instantly get those bottle caps. So you that's how you gain resources. Is, well, it's on the card, you get it. But these cards also contain zombies. Uh, these cards maybe have uh, you know a number in the corner that say how many zombies are going to come at you, and if that's the case, get ready for battle. As you move through that card and you engage the zombies, uh, if you have ammo, you can spend the ammo to essentially take ranged shots. You can roll a dice, I think, for every ammo you spend, and if you hit the zombies, uh, they die. You don't have to worry about them. But then what's going to happen is, as the zombies approach you, you are going to start rolling the die. Now, you're going to roll, generally speaking, black die. Now, the black die are have a few faces on them that may be blank, nothing happens, which is good. You're going to have a casualty, meaning your people get bit by the zombie. Now, usually it's going to be a casualty with an adrenaline token uh, symbol, meaning if you spend an adrenaline token, it cancels the bite. You're also going to have an opportunity kill, which is just an adrenaline token. You spend adrenaline, you can get a kill. Uh, or you're going to have a target, which means a target, you can just kill them. You may also get a target with an adrenaline token, and that means uh, you can kill, and then if you spend an adrenaline token, you can kill a second one as well. Now, during the course of combat, you may lose some of your uh, survivors because you can't spend the adrenaline to save them. But you're also going to chance to kill a lot of zombies. If you get through it unscathed, you collect the card. If there's any kind of special abilities that the card gives you, you get it. For instance, you may get certain tokens that may help you along the way that activate with other cards um, or on their own. So that, that could be a good positive thing. They may also have victory points. And, of course, that's really what you want. If you can get the cards that have the victory points on them, then at the end of the game, you can win, assuming there are more than one survivors. Now, you may encounter a horde, and a horde is in a red symbol, and a horde is going to require that you swap some of your dice out for red dice, and red dice are just more nasty, more opportunities for bad things to happen to you, so that could be kind of scary as well. Now, you do before combat, you do also have the chance to avoid battle, but uh, generally speaking, if you can just get through it uh, and survive, then uh, everybody goes around, takes their path, rolls through it, and... Hopefully, you know, you all make it through. Then you go ahead and you re repeat the process. Whoever had initiative that round then puts out four more cards, and you do it all over again. Now, there is player elimination in this game. If you lose all of your survivors, you are out of the game. 
whoever can make it to the end of the game, completing all the cards, completing all their paths, uh, they win. If you have multiple winners there, then whoever has the most victory points is going to win. Hit zero. So first of all, um, a note about the production here. Um, <laughs> the production is very cool looking. The production is this kind of faded 1960s, 50s, 60s kind of uh, road trip movie, road trip, uh, like a, I don't know, like a place, a hotel or a restaurant you go to eat on a road trip that got menus and, and just the artwork is all very reminiscent of that, but it's all, of course, zombified and it's as though it's uh, uh, suffered from this horrible, horrible apocalypse. It's just a very cool aesthetic. It's a very cool theme. Um, not simply zombies, but this kind of 1960s kind of zaniness uh, thrown in there, which is really fun and interesting and unique for a zombie game. And this is really generally a unique zombie game. Now, as I say, it's a zombie theme, it's a dice chucker, but it feels very Euro-y. It's kind of a, a, kind of a hybrid. Uh, I've not played a game really quite like this, uh, that worked this way. It has the auction mechanic, which auctions are not my favorite mechanics in games generally. I, I usually kind of groan a little bit when I hear an auction mechanic. But there are games I like it in. I keep talking about Game of Thrones, the board game. I think it has a great auction mechanic. And the auction mechanic here works. It's very cool. And it's so necessary because, you, gosh, you, you're looking at some of those pathways and they are just staring you. And you're like, oh, I can't do that. And, and, and you need to get something else. So you spend more of your resources to get you know a chance of getting a better uh, path. And, 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 and then you hope that everything goes right on that one. And hope you don't need those resources that you spent in the auction. It's it's a tremendously fun game. I was thoroughly impressed with Hitzy Road. I really enjoyed it. Uh, a lot more than I thought I would, frankly. Um, Martin Wallace is really hit or miss with me. I've probably more missed than hit. And uh, I really didn't know what to expect. But I loved Hitzy Road. I thought it was a whole lot of fun. So the recommendation for the Discriminating Gamer for Hitzy Road is buy it. Thank you once again for joining us today on The Discriminating Gamer. As always, we ask you to please leave a comment for us on YouTube, on Board Game Geek, on our Facebook page, or on thediscriminatinggamer.com. We ask you to please like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and follow us on Twitter. We are The Discriminating Gamer, and i got to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, when the zombie apocalypse does arrive, I think I'll be A-OK, -okay because I have got plenty of dice. That, that's what kills zombies, right? I just, just have to roll well? Somebody help me on my feet again And I don't know where I'm going And I don't know where I've been Please somebody help me on the solid ground It's a long time and I'll be dying Once a year I wind up in the band Ha 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 